The verdict came out and Tory Lanez has officially been found guilty of shooting Megan the Stallion. To find out more, stay tuned and watch this video. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Before I start this video, I wanna thank Sonic Bonnet for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. The Sonic Bonnet is not your everyday bonnet. It's a luxuriously silky bonnet with the power of Bluetooth technology. Built into its breathable elastic headband are a set of Bluetooth earphones, so you could start, pause, and play sounds from your phone, answer calls, and more, all with a tap of a button. The sauna bonnet is the perfect companion for your daily self-care and hair care routine. Once you tuck your hair into its comfortable, silky head cap, you'll be sold. Indulge yourself in this nightly beauty regimen and sleep soundly and sweetly with your favorite sleep sounds, music, podcasts, and audiobooks. And guess what? You'll never have to worry about losing your earbuds. The Sonic Bonnet earphones are USB chargeable with over a three nights charge and are easily removed and replaced for when you wanna wash your bonnet. This self-care is for the mind, body, and hair. Treat yourself to a Sonic Bonnet today at sonicbonnet.com and while you're at it, grab a gift for a friend or a loved one. I honestly can't think of a cuter gift. Take advantage of the free US shipping on all orders over $50 now at sonicbonnet.com. Once again, I wanna thank Sonic Bonnet for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. The verdict is in and the rapper Tory Lanez was found guilty of shooting Megan the Stallion. Now Tory was facing three charges, including assault with a semi-automatic firearm, illegal possession of the gun, and negligent discharge of a firearm. So Tory can face up to 20 something years in prison and he will face deportation. Now this verdict is a huge win for Megan Thee Stallion. It's a huge win for the prosecution team. And I will say, I was a little surprised that he was guilty on all three counts. I suspected that he might be guilty on one or two, but all three counts is pretty interesting. I will say that. And the reason why I say that is because there was a lot of reasonable doubt and the prosecutor's two main witnesses were very unreliable, especially Kelsey. If you don't know, Kelsey Nicole Harris was actually there during the night of the shooting. And she did do a private interview with the prosecutors prior to the trial. And she told them one account of what happened to get an immunity deal and to protect herself because Kelsey knew that there was a high possibility that the finger would point at her because an independent witness did say that they saw Kelsey shooting first. So Kelsey wanted her protection. So she told the prosecutors one thing, but when she actually got on the stand, she pled the fifth and she pretty much recanted a lot of things that could indicate that Tori was the shooter. And a lot of people thought that was very weird. And that brought a lot of doubt because she proved to be an unreliable witness. And also Justin did not show up. If you don't know, Justin is Megan Thee Stallion's bodyguard and he was supposed to show up on Megan Thee Stallion's behalf and confirm that Tori came to him and apologized for shooting Megan. He never showed up. So that was also very suspicious. Another thing that was suspicious too is the different accounts of the story. Now the way the prosecutors presented the story and the way Kelsey and Megan testified, they basically said that Megan and Tori were arguing over music careers. Megan got out of the car and Tori just hopped over to the front and started shooting at her five times. There was never a mention of a fight that actually took place. So we later on found out that the argument escalated when Tory dropped the bombshell that he was sleeping with Megan behind Kelsey's back. The independent witness said he saw Kelsey and Megan arguing and then they started fighting and then Kelsey started shooting. And then Tory took the gun from Kelsey and he fired shots in the air as well. 
So that's actually how the gun went off, according to the independent witness, Sean Kelly. And that story greatly differs from the prosecutor's narrative. And also Tori's DNA wasn't found on the magazine of the gun and his DNA was inconclusive on the gun because multiple people touched the gun. They did find a female's DNA on the gun, but Kelsey and Megan's fingerprints were not taken by the police that night. So I bring up these factors to say that there were some good reasons why a person would have doubt about who really shot Megan. Now there's no doubt that Megan was shot because she did have four bullet fragments in her feet and the x-ray showed that. So she absolutely was injured by gunfire. But the question is, who was responsible for her injuries? Was it Kelsey or Tori? And I know some people are saying, Tori was the one who did it, he did it, he did it. But if you do look at the details of the case, it would have you questioning a lot of things. And I don't feel like I got any clarity from this case. I don't feel like I know what really happened that night, for real, for real. <laughs> so the whole situation is just crazy, but Megan should be happy because this was a huge win for her. Even though technically this wasn't her trial, this was Tory versus the state, but still it's a win for her. Now I wanna get into Tory Lane's father's reaction because he was very upset about this verdict and he called out the system, he called out the prosecutors, the LAPD, and he even called out Rock Nation. Y'all get into this. I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witness the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? Oh I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole Rock wicked Nation. system of Rock Nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say yes. you rose from the yes. gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men, yep. and you're still doing it. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Tall and Alex Bart. They met on Saturday before. They met, they on met with our Saturday witness. Night. And then the man came back and I up. sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb, an intelligent woman who did not want, listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this, yeah. and I know exactly what the public out oh, here will yeah, say. Yeah. Don't talk. You will say, I say this because I'm a father. See, I am a father of thousands around the world. I'm a father of my kids, but a spiritual father to many. And I don't make stupid allegations because I got nothing better to do. You all have been bartering and trading the souls of young black and brown men yes. in this country. And I'm calling on all the umbrellas. I'm calling on everybody in this country to begin to rise up That's because right. your sons yes. have been done right. dirty. That's right. That's right. That's right. not over. Amen. It's not over. God does not lose. Never. And even though we have come to this juncture, trust me, you will see that our God does not fail. This is not the I know that's right. That's right. that this is wickedness. Right. This district attorney, Miss Kathy Todd, is the same one that witnessed or knew that five sheriff's deputies in LA County beat up a Spanish man with the last name Carrillo until the guy was beaten to and passed out. ABC News interviewed that man after Eyewitness News. And he said, I thought I would never be here to see my child born. And I would never been able to be around to see my other child rise up. But I'm telling you, this court system is not for justice. It's about wins and losses and they do dirty to do whatever they can. Jay-Z, let me speak to you. He has kids. Rock Nation, yes. because my son refused to sign a Rock yes. Nation yes. I'll deal with you. Yes. And Desiree Perez, you wicked witch, you snitch. Yes. You turned on your coast conspirators, all the whole mafia one of you that was peddling drugs in the 
this country and you rolled on them before so the Fed could give you a deal. All of you, trust me, I have intercessors, prayer warriors around the world and they will not stop until you are cut off. No, we don't shoot you with guns, but we know exactly how to bring you down in the spirit. Hoo-wee, that was a fiery, explosive speech right there. That was very, very, very intense. But I will end this video off by saying this. It's very important for people to be mindful of who they surround themselves with. It's important for people to be mindful of who they call their friends. It's also extremely important for people to be careful of who they mess around with sexually because I think this situation would have never happened if Megan and Tori did not get together. It would have never happened if Megan didn't pursue Tori behind her friend's back. It wouldn't have happened if Tori didn't get himself in this situation by messing with two best friends. Tori's lack of self-control put him in the situation that he's in today. And I'm sure none of them would have ever expected that a night of drinking and fun would have turned to such a traumatic event. But that's what happens when people act wild and drink too much and do crazy things and surround themselves with the wrong group of people. When a person surrounds themselves with the wrong group of people, all type of chaos can happen. So I want people to learn from this case and even the Shanquilla Robinson case, people have to learn how to choose their friends wisely. They have to watch the company they keep and they have to guard their energy. Don't just let anybody in. Don't just let anybody have a piece of you. Not everybody should have the privilege to have access to you. And another thing, if you sense something that's off about somebody that you may consider your friend or your partner or your lover, don't ignore those signs. Those red flags are there for a reason. Protect yourself and surround yourself with people you can trust for real, for real. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.